You're always getting about on me about getting being racist. I haven't seen any bug people yet. Neither have I. I think if I saw one, it would freak me out. It'd be disturbing. And they do have people hands, which is creepy. Mm -hmm. An empty card. Somebody has scrawled the word mm -hmm. discards on it. The owner's name, perhaps? I don't think so, Falcon. See the graffiti on the wall behind you? No. This wall. Somebody thinks it is funny. <laughs> So, <laughs> discard, 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 dis wall, <laughs> dis funny. <laughs> the sign is difficult to read. The paint has faded. Trude Frutier, it's a food place. Truc de Fructier. There is no way it says that. You just made those words up. All words are made up, Falcon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need that today, Sparrowson. <laughs> I see hanging bushels of onions. Bushels? That can't be right. It's sprigs. Sprigs of onions. How about bundles of onions? That seems pretty neutral. Confederacies of onions. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Flocks of onions. We're done. <laughs> but confederacies of onions. <laughs> confederacies of onions. I don't see anything else here. Alright. I think we're done here. Okay, I guess we can always come back if we think we've forgotten something. True. We have to continue with that thing. That thing. You know that. We gotta go see Nathan after this. Have we already seen this? Yes. Ah. I'm just going to shoot him to death. Uh, we need to go back to the Louvre and get that pot. True. Oh, we're gonna steal it? Yes. Okay. I like stealing. This is the room we investigated during the Poisoned Rose case, right? Why are we back here? I can't help, but I feel that I saw something here a couple of weeks ago. Something that may be of use to us. Really? Alright, let's take a look around, I guess. We're not saying we're gonna take a cup of pot, but we're gonna steal a cup of pot. <laughs> this urn. Sacred urn that probably contains people's, you know, remnants. We're gonna use to make a magnet. <laughs> I remember it. It's the one that smelled of chocolate. Yes, but more importantly, it's made of copper. Why is that important? Oh, I see. You're thinking of Monsieur Trouvert's request. He wanted a copper pot, didn't he? This would do nicely. But, but this is a museum piece. We couldn't just take it, could we? Couldn't we? I don't know. Could we? We could. We could. You want to be a museum robber, Sparrowson? It's been my lifelong dream. Marvelous. Put this under your coat. It's not going to fit under my coat. You're already weirdly shaped. No one will see anything, <laughs> anything out of the ordinary. Hey! You're weirdly shaped. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. What else shall we steal? Nothing. We're going to leave before we draw suspicion. How about a painting? I just want a small one no one will care about. Like the Mona Lisa! Let's steal the Mona Lisa! Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't spend all day roaming our bag, right? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Now we can go back and give him his name. <laughs> We're on a schedule. We're on a schedule. That was awesome. We're museum robbers. We got the things right. Yeah. Yeah. Dum de dum. Too late, he's gone. 
Dead. My god, I've lost my leg. <laughs> my leg has been blown off by a, by a grenade. What should I do, doctor? Mouth to mouth! Mouth to mouth. <laughs> You won't be mad. Okay, so you want to go visit to the library? Puzzles. Puzzles. Oh, that's me. Do you think Nathan likes riddles? Of course, all librarians like riddles. It seems like a bit of a stereotype. That's all I'm saying. Stereotype or not, we have to hope that it's true. That Boffin is our best chance at getting to the bottom of this. Time to put our polite faces on. He's here now. Enters. <laughs> Good day, Romeo and Romeo. Good day, Monsieur. It's a pleasure to see you again on this fine day. Tell me, kind Monsieur, do you like riddles? Oh, of course! Here's one for you, Monsieurs. What has two mouths and four ears? It talks twice as much as it listens. Ooh, ooh, what, what? Oh, is it us? It's us! Uh. It's us, isn't it? <laughs> you! It's you, Monsieur! You! You come in here yammering and yelling and never stop to close your beaks for one minute! That's true. Oh, haha! Very good, Monsieur! I knew it! Lap sparrows it. We need to get it in his good books. Do it! <laughs> What was that? Sorry, I can't fake laugh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop this force! You want yours, obviously. How? So many main riddles that you want solving. So let's hear it. Go on, spit it out. Oh, right. Well, uh. If we were sick to say. That there is a place called the Sleeping City in Paris. Where would it be? That's a new one, the Sleeping City. Got it! It took him five seconds. <laughs> Less than five seconds. Really, 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 you got it. Of course, that trick was truly <clears throat> easy. God damn it. There are plenty of locations that could be called the Sleeping City, but only one place earns that title in Paris. And where would that be? We know the answer, of course, obviously. We're just fact checking to make sure that you got it right. It's a catacomb of bones. Think it through, Monsieurs. What kind of city is this only inhabited? By those who sleep all day and all night. Uh, oh. I got it, Spain. <laughs> Why is Spain the answer? <laughs> Don't be deaf, Sparrows. In Spain isn't a city, but perhaps the Monsieur is referring to the capital of Spain, Madrid. Nice, sleepy place. Spain, Madrid. You two are remarkably tense, aren't you? We're talking about Paris, remember? Sleep is a metaphor. Actually, it's one of the oldest, most powerful metaphors in the history of literature. It symbolizes death itself. The sleeping city obviously refers to the city of the dead. Necropolis. Yeah, that just sounds like a city of the dead. That's pretty cool. Think, Monsieur. Think. 
Use your puny aviary brains. Do we have any necropolis in Paris? Of course, where will we bury our dead? Of course, the catacombs, the catacombs of bones. <laughs> the winding tunnels of the dead that lie beneath our very feet. Wait, is there really like a catacombs all under Paris of like dead people? Probably. That's terrifying. I mean, that there's catacombs under most cities in Europe as far as I'm aware. That's horrifying. Well, they've been there a while and back in like the 1700s and the 1600s, you had to put your dead someplace. Oh my god. But think of how many dead people there are. No wonder they're like, England must be like the most haunted place on earth. Very good, Monsieur. That's the first semi-intelligent thing you have managed to say all day. You have more questions, don't you? Oh, yes. Tell us about the catacombs. The catac <laughs> catacombs of bones. Can you give us a brief rundown on the history of the catacombs? <sighs> the cemeteries of Paris were overflowing by the end of the last century. Oh my god, that means there's a century of dead people there. <laughs> it was a mess from what I hear. To create space, King Louis. The numbers. <laughs> the 14th? That's the 16th. 16th. Shh, shh. It's okay. <laughs> the 16th. Ordered four old skeletons to be excavated and put into the unused mine tunnels that lie under the city. Wait, what did they use the city mine tunnels for before? Mining. Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> what could you possibly use mine tunnels for? Mining? Huh. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Who does that? So, with a little renovation and many years of hard work, the mines were successfully turned into a subterranean mausoleum. So what, it's basically a grave for a few thousand skeletons? Millions more like it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no one underestimate the size of the tunnels, monsters. But that was in the 1800s. Think of how many there are today! I'm sure they stopped putting skeletons in there. But where would they put them? They have no more room! I mean to say, there aren't any new additions to the underground tunnels today. Us. So I don't think the number's been raised all that much. I know that the bourgeois like to tour the catacombs, don't they? Correct. It was quite the Borage Taurus hotspot some 20 years ago. But if you are hoping to pay a visit, you are too late. The church had all the entrances sealed shut fairly recently. But why, why would, would that be? Why would the church do that? Believe it or not, they considered the turning of the Marseille into a tourist attraction to be in poor taste. That's pretty oh, accurate. right. They shut down all the entrances, really. Surely there must be one or two left untouched, but how will you visit your ancestors? Nope. If there is such an entrance, it's not public knowledge. I see. That is all. I think we're done for now. Thank you for your time, Monsieur. Good day! Get the fuck out! <laughs> if the sleeping city really isn't the Paris catacombs, 
then there must be some way to get in. Hmm, an underground tunnel network would probably be connected to the city sewers, right? So we just need to find the right manhole and boom, we're in spooky scary Skellington town. Spooky scary Skellington. Spooky, That's a spooky scary Skellington. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or maybe it connects to the sea. Perhaps some swimming is in order. You two dancers are going to get your pseudos killed. If you really wish to visit the catacombs, you would be best off asking those responsible for the closures. The uh, dead people? Uh, the church, Monsieur, the church! Would know if any unsealed interest is still exist. Oh yeah, you sure you right. <laughs> you right, dude. You right. So I guess the last place we're going is the church. Yeah. Did you sneak out to the Louvre again? I keep telling you, my brother, you can't risk being seen. There is too much at stake. But the good word must be spread, my brother. We need as many supporters as possible. No more sulking in the shadows. No more cowering in the dark. We must rise up against our oppressors. Oh, but before I forget, here's your pin back. I borrowed it. Again? What happened to yours? I lost it. So careless. Don't sweat the petty things, brother. Let's focus on removing the obstacles that stand in the way of our father's dream. Right, like the annoying little bird who's been poking his beak into our business. He is dangerously close to uncovering our secret. You want me to take care of him? It would be in our interests. I have a trap in mind, but... Ah, someone's coming, go hide! <laughs> panic. Ah, my brothers have returned. What can I do for you today? A confession, perhaps? Actually, Friar, you own a green pin. You're evil. <laughs> Actually, Friar, I just came here to tell you that you are, in fact, evil. We're here for information about how evil you are. We want to learn about the catacombs that lie under Paris. The catacombs? You don't want to go there, my brother. It's a wretched and haunted place. I'm sure it is. I don't really want to go there, but I kind of have to. <laughs> but we know that the church was responsible for having the entrances sealed shut. So we figure that maybe there's a super secret friar-only entrance that only you know about? A secret entrance? That's an interesting idea. You know, you were not the first birds to have asked about that. We aren't. God damn it, Gary. Yes, yes. A cockeran paid a visit yesterday. Perfect posture and snooty or one-eyed and scowling. The first. A prosecutor, I think he said he was. Anyway, I'll tell you the same thing I told him. If you venture into the catacombs, you will not return. Understood? Not really. I don't get it. <laughs> Not really. You didn't tell us how to get into the catacombs at all. <laughs> Nor will I tell you, my brother. Take the hint. You have no business there. Now, if you two will excuse me, I have a sermon to prepare. Be on your way. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrowson, yeah. what was he talking about? He didn't give us an entrance at all. <laughs> I don't know what, what was that about. Damn, another dead end. Maybe it's time to wrap this up. We can go tell the inspector what we found and call it a day. Don't quit just yet. I managed to take something from the fire's pocket when he gave his little warning. I was gonna say, he's really good at pickpocketing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, again, this is becoming something of a bad habit for you. You're actually stealing from people that seem like good people. Because, like, this one's of the church, the last time you stole from the lawyer. Hmm. Well, go on then. Let's see what you pilfered. A donut. This. You found this pin. In the friar's robes? Yep. Interesting. Actually, this is more than interesting. This is amazing. 
this is the exact same pit that Judge Romulus uses. It even contains the same green ink. Huh. Do you think it's exactly the same pit, or do you think Romulus and Remus just have a matching set? 